Hello, my name is Stephen Benazou and I'm here with the Gallery Spotlight Series. I'm in the main gallery at the Irving Art Center and we are at the Bob Nunn A Retrospective that runs through November 13th. And I'm here to talk about one of uh, Bob's paintings that's in the show. Uh, this is Homeland Refracted from 2010. I've known Bob for about 40 years. I've known Bob long enough to actually have watched him work on the three series that are in this show, uh, the biomorphic series, his flowers, and then the uh, landscapes. When Bob started doing the landscape series, I got, I don't, I got really excited about them. They were, um, they were exciting pieces, but I guess one of the things that made me so excited is that his work and my work kind of uh, came together at that moment. Uh, I was working on these abstracted landscapes and I'm not gonna stand here and talk about my work, but it's always fun when your mentor's work and your work kind of come to a confluence for a moment. Um, it sort of lifts you up when you see that your mentor is kind of thinking the same thing that you're thinking. Um, this abstracted landscape uh, is, is um, sort of a, almost like a photograph or a painting of the landscape that you're looking at but also it's a landscape that you're looking down on at, at the same time. So he's blended the two together. Uh, one of my favorite things to do when I fly is I have to have the window seat. And then I look at the landscape as we're flying over and all the varieties of that landscape. You get all the cities you're looking at, the rivers, uh, the hills, and you can look off in the distance and see you know, what's coming. So, with this piece, uh, Bob's got that looking straight down from, you know, like from an airplane, an aerial photograph, and then he's got the, the mountains off in the distance. There are several paintings in this series, in this show, that are like that. So one of the reasons I really was drawn to this piece is the vertical lines that run through it. Um, some of them diagonal, some of them straight up and down vertical. Those diagonal lines give more um, activity to the painting, more dynamic sort of aspects to the composition. Uh, the other reason I really like the folded, the lines in it is it makes the painting folded. So folded in and out. Um, when you unfold a map, it's got all those fold lines in it and that gives a flat map some more dimension and then, um, like I said, not turning the work back to me, but my references is I make these abstracted maps and I like to put fold lines in them or print them and have them folded and unfolded. Uh, so again, our work kind of converging at that point, but also with the change in contrast, the light and dark of these fold lines, it sort of gives the impression that he's giving you different times of day different times of year, different seasons in one image. Uh, one of the things that Cezanne did was he painted the same image over and over and over again at different times of day, uh, different times of year, and he um, was experimenting and playing with the changes of light on the object he was painting on the chapel. And so Bob has kind of done that here where it's the same scene, but it might be different times of day, different seasons, different times of the year. Uh, several of the paintings through here are in the style of these landscapes, but there's only a few of them that have these fold lines in them. And I was really drawn to that because I just love how uh, the painting seems to go in and out as it goes across the canvas, as well as all the dimension and the aerial perspective he's put in the painting itself. So thank you for listening to me talk about Bob's work uh, today uh, here at the Irving Art Center Gallery. Come to the Irving Art Center Gallery and see the Bob Nunn a Retrospective. It runs through November 13th in the main gallery. Thank you for listening to me today and uh, come down and see this painting. It's one of my favorites. Thank you.